Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. I thought we'd do a pound for pound UK top 10. So I've had a little think about it and uh, I'm going to do a pound for pound. So here we go. In 10th place at the moment on Porky's Corner, the 10th best pound for pound fighter in the UK is Dylan White. People might say, oh Porky, you're hating on Dylan White. Well, Dylan White's got a British title that were vacant against Ian Lewinson and he's knocked a world title fight back, eliminators back, other top fights back but he's getting pay-per-view but as regards belts and accomplishments he's been knocked out and he's, he's fought Ian Lewinson for a British title, vacant. So Dylan White's number 10. Number 9, I've got Chris Eubank Jr. He's won world titles, hasn't he? He's won a British title. Yeah, he's been beat, but he's not, not been knocked out, has he? And he went life and death, lost a split against Billy Joe. So, is his career better than Dylan White's? I'd say, yeah. So, Chris Eubank, you're number nine. In at number eight is John Ryder. I believe John Ryder beat Callum Smith. I believe he beat him fought for a world title at Ring Magazine belt and he were robbed and he's up there John Ryder at the moment he turns up for his battles and he takes his opportunities he's not had a pay-per-view fight has he yet so John Ryder is at number 8 he's at number 7 Anthony Yard he's fought for a world title and nearly pulled it off didn't he against Kovalev went into his back guard more than Dylan White's done hasn't it so Kovalev, uh, sorry so Anthony Yard, your number seven, pound for pound at UK. In at number six, Daniel Dubois, undefeated, very highly ranked. Not knocking fights back, he's knocking men out, right? And he's got, uh, he's got a British title like Dylan White, but he's younger and he's not been beat, so you'd have to put him ahead of Dylan White, wouldn't you? So Daniel Dubois, number six. Number five, Anthony Joshua. You've been protected. Yeah, you've got the belts back and all that, but you've been protected and you've been knocked out. So you're number five, Anthony Joshua. You've not fought Wilder, you've not fought Tyson Fury, you've not fought Dubois. You, you, you know, you're fighting a 40 year old next, another 40 year old. So it's just, you're fighting old men and dossers. So Anthony Joshua, you're number five. You're only there because you've got them belts, but. It is what it is, isn't it? You had a belt bought, you'd off Charlie Martin, so... Anthony Joshua, number five. Callum Smith, number four. You're undefeated. And you're a world champion, you're number four. Uh, you beat Asin and Dam, a, blow, a blown up middleweight who'd seen better days. You beat George Groves in one shoulder, and... Uh, that's about it, really, isn't it? You beat John Ryder, but I thought... But I thought John Ryder beat him. So you got the decision against John Ryder. So you beat Rocky Fielding. But I don't worry. The diva behaviour by your, your trainer demanding millions and pay-per-view slots and all that. You've made millions out of the sport, Callum Smith. You're probably the most protected fighter in the UK. In my opinion. So you're number four, Callum Smith. Because you're undefeated. You're world champion. You've got a ring magazine belt. But your CV is... Shocking to say you've got a ring ring magazine belt. At number three, we've got Josh Taylor, undefeated. Look what Josh Taylor's achieved. He's the real deal, him, Josh Taylor. Nobody can take it away from what that kid's done. Nobody. He's the real deal. And he's flying the flag for Scotland very well. Josh Taylor, so well done, Josh Taylor. Uh, your number three, pound for pound on Porky's Corner. In at number two. Two weight world champion, he's undefeated. I've given him a bit of stick on here, but I think it's best middleweight in the world. But he's won a belt at middleweight and he's now a super middleweight champion. He's got to be there on merit. He's undefeated. Yeah, he's beat Andy Lee, David Lemieux and Hugh Bank. And, you know, we can... 
we can have a little moan about who he hadn't fought and his behaviour outside the ring, but he's a southpaw, he's very tricky. Billy Joe Son, he's got to be number two, he's undefeated, isn't he? So, in at number one. You've got to take your hat off to him, I got it wrong myself, everybody got it wrong. Tyson Fury is the number one fighter in the UK, pound for pound. That's the UK, right? He's got all belts, he's won everything, hasn't he? He's got WBC now, Ring Magazine belt, again. He's the number one pound for pound star in UK boxing. Joshua really should be on 40% against Tyson, 60%. Joshua's been knocked out and they're really all Tyson's belts anyway, so... I'm not a Tyson Fury fanboy, but he's there for what he's achieved, isn't he? Even though the era is poor. You know, he's got three wins, Steve Cunningham, you could say a cruiserweight, couldn't you, coming up to every. Vladimir in his 40th year, and Wilder, we could say technical ability, poor. But Tyson's got in there, hasn't he, and challenged himself. So, nobody could beat Vladimir for 10 years. Nobody could beat Wilder. For... <sighs> Well, they were undefeated one year in 11 years. So, as far as I'm concerned, Tyson Fury is a number one pound for pound boxer in the UK. Alright, peace out. Keep sporting boxing, don't have nightmares. Alright. And um, as regards Peaky Blinders, I haven't completed it yet. I had to turn it off last night because Arthur Shelby got his throat slit in the dressing room. Uh, a boxing show and he's dead now so I turned it off because I couldn't get my head around it so he's my favourite character so I don't know if I'm going to start watching it again now so I don't know I don't know but I'm onto this other one now called White Lines is it or something I'm going to start watching that or London Gangs but I've completed Ozark but see I'm in middle of series 4 on Peaky Blinders and when Arthur Shelby uh, got his throat slit, I was devastated, so I uh, turned it off. But anyway, peace out.